Hello everyone, welcome to this very sunny day in Belgium. Um, so yeah, yesterday we had snow and now it uh, feels like a very sunny, not so cold, wintry day. Right now we are at 2018.4.1 update and we're going to do our usual test again. Now, the first section, as you remember maybe from the other clips, is where the car goes over the hill. And I'm just going to slow down a little bit to leave some room here. Um, so the car only reads the lines instead of the car in front of me. Um, usually the car goes to the right at the top of the hill and it also goes to the right at the bottom of the hill. So let's see what it does now. So accelerating up to 70 kilometers an hour. Doesn't detect the car in front of me. Let's see what it does. Yep, that still goes to the side. And at the bottom here. Yep, it slightly goes to the right as well. So that still remains the same. Although I must say that um, a couple of days ago when I tried it, when I first got the update, it actually went straight on over the top of the hill. So I was kind of hoping that, yeah, same here. So I was kind of hoping that it would actually be improved, but unfortunately it isn't. What I did notice is that when you have a car in front of you, then it will actually follow that car and not veer off to the sides. So yeah, I um, was hoping for a continuous improvement there uh, or a confirmed improvement, but uh, unfortunately it's not. The second test section here is the middle divider there. Now I do have a car in front of me, so it might be able to track that car through this part. But basically it loses the right side uh, it goes a little bit to the left so when you come to that intersection it loses the line of the lane marker on the right side and then it starts hugging the left side a bit more but yeah so that's uh, could be expected behavior uh, because if you don't activate autopilot then you actually see that it is losing the lines at that point but yeah should work once we get to full self-drive so I'm eagerly anticipating uh, the next autopilot update that will improve better handling on uh, secondary roads all right so here we're coming up on the section where it goes right and left hands on steering wheel let's see what it does it goes too much to the outside so I had to intervene there on this corner what does it do it keeps it in but only at about 63 kilometers an hour so that means that the car actually slowed down for the corner that's interesting to know so this is something that I'll definitely be testing at night when there's no traffic and there's no danger here uh, it seems that there's a bit of improvement on that section on the highway now with a bit of a disadvantage because the Sun is straight ahead and also shining straight into the cameras but let's see for the auto lane change if something has changed there so I'm going to pass this truck and then move to the right I already know I have to be a little bit ahead of that so going to the right it waits, it waits, now it goes. So it was about the one and a half, two second wait until it actually started moving into the next lane. So I'm going to slow down to let that car pass. Yeah. 
Okay, so moving into the left lane, no cars that I've passed. That one does it immediately. But the dotted lines, they actually stay on for quite a while. Moving to the right, it does it immediately. So yeah, still when you're passing a car, like I will do with the car in front of me, then it needs some room for the detection to be gone. So right now it's detecting the car, detection is gone, move to the right, waits, 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 and now it's going. So even if you are quite a distance away, if you just pass the car, there's some time that it takes before it actually starts moving. So what you see on the dash is the dotted lines appear, they go back to a full line, wait for about a second, sometimes close to two seconds, and then it goes to the dotted line again, and then it changes again. But yeah, that's, I mean, I've covered the auto lane change in another video, so this is more or less accepted or expected behavior, I should say. Also something I noticed in the uh, autopilot is that if you are an autopilot then it reacts to GPS coordinates for changing speeds. So here we're coming up to a sign that I can only do 50. Uh, I'm still 70, 70 the car says and only now it says 50. And then it starts braking really hard to actually uh, get down to that speed. Now if there is a speed trap right behind a speed limit sign then it doesn't know that so Tesla since they work on GPS coordinates I know the numbers aren't always correct or the speed limits aren't always correctly defined um, in the database but since they work on GPS coordinates they actually could be able to start slowing down like 50 meters 100 meters before you reach that sign so when you reach that sign you actually hold through to the speed limit I um, think that is something that they will have to do once uh, we go to full self-drive so that the car actually um, respects the law right now it speeds during the first 50 meters of the uh, of the speed limit section so yeah And now we're coming up to the final test section, which is the part where we have the lane shift going on. It's a red light, so I don't expect to hit 70 kilometers an hour. Um, during my previous testing, I've noticed that up to 60 to 65 kilometers an hour, um, it works okay but it's not comfortable. So right now doing 54, it's going to do it perfectly now. So going left, going right, no problem. Car is going to the right. And it didn't really stop for it, it hesitated a little bit. You see the car still being tracked on the dashboard while the car is already in the next lane. So for some reason the car is being tracked for longer than strictly necessary maybe it's a safety precaution maybe it's a bug who, who, who knows so yeah this was a short run um, don't think there's any improvement really in the uh, in the autopilot maybe with that tight left or right left turn uh, that the car started slowing down that seemed to be new but this is something I'm going to test at night as well um, because I'm not sure whether that was because of a car in front of me or whether it was um, an, an addition to the autopilot so yeah you'll definitely be seeing a separate test on that one as well okay thanks for watching I see you guys next time. Bye-bye.